Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to That Green Thing. Today, it's time to prune my Rosa Glocka, the red leaf rose. It's a species rose. It's very hardy, so it does great here in Maine. I've had this here, I don't know, 20, uh, 24 years maybe. <laughs> a lot of my shrubs I planted many years ago. So they're kind of my family. This one, I like to wait until this time of year. The buds are just popping on it. All I wanna do is remove the dead wood. When I planted it, it was one or two, three stems possibly. The stems get quite large. Um, they'll get quite large in diameter. They'll last for a number of years and then they'll die off. So I depend on the new stems coming up out of the root crown. They don't always live. Maybe 50% of them die. I believe they just freeze in the winter. So I try to nurture the new stems and I don't weed whack around it or anything. I'm always looking for the new ones coming up so it replenishes itself. So let me get my tools together. Coffee, that's one of my tools. <laughs> uh, I like to, I love my tools. I love the simplicity of them. Um, all cuts up to about the size of your pinky. A pair of bypass pruners. The next larger, up. this will cut up to about one inch diameter, a pair of two foot loppers. And then larger wood, dead wood, larger wood, a nice tri-cut saw blade. This will cut up to three inch diameter, or it'll cut anything as long as you've got the energy. But I know I'm gonna need this because I noticed one of these largest stems is dead. I've, you can see where I've lost a lot of older stems, but hey, that's just part of the game. I don't really like these that are creeping away, but I like to keep anything that's alive. So, well, I, I hit it with my lawnmower, scratches my back. If I get sick of it, I'll make a vengeance cut and get rid of it. That's an old term. So, again, only deadwood. It's large deadwood and the tip die back. So, let me get right into it. I'm gonna get rid of the biggest, largest. I know I've got a couple stems. First, fuel. This isn't a joke. I just got home from work. I have time to do a couple of chores every day. I have two acres here. I don't have a lot of days off, but I love my plants. So I try to sneak in a little project each day. A cup of coffee in the afternoon after work gets me going again. Today it's the Rosa Glocka and I'll split a few logs. It's still cold here. We're still burning wood 24 seven, April 27th. <laughs> Great. All right. Sometimes I like to just stub them off and then do the final cut afterwards. I've looked and looked, there isn't a speck of life on this. It's time has come. Ow. I've tried other roses. This is a species rose. It's not a fancy hybrid. It just grows somewhere wild in the world. I, I believe it's a zone two or three, super hardy. But this and Rosa Ragoza are about the only ones. Macy, that's going to hurt your mouth. That has thorns. What was I saying? It's about the only rose besides Ragosa roses that'll live here. I'm a little in from the coast. It gets quite cold. Okay. <laughs> 
I like to get close to the ground, but I don't like burying my tools in the dirt. We used to sharpen saw blades, but nowadays we just throw them away when they get dull. See that? I'm already bleeding from the vicious rose. I won't use this on the smaller dead, just the largest. All right. You really have to look carefully. Some things are almost all dead, but not quite. I'll give it a chance. All right, so we only lost one, two large stems. All right, I see a couple I can get with, with the loppers. What are you eating there? Macy's a great dog. She hangs, she's the first dog I ever had that doesn't run off. She stays within the boundaries and she likes hanging with me. She doesn't run off. And if she strays a little bit, she'll come back when I holler. I know I saw one. I think after I prune this, roses are heavy feeders. So I'll throw a couple handfuls of fertilizer. I don't want this to take forever. I think I mentioned a couple times in the other videos that I like to do things with no fuss and very efficiently. I'm what they call task oriented. I like to get things done quickly, efficiently, and done well. It's really windy today. By the way, this is what I do all day, every day. I prune, I cut. It's pretty much the only thing I've ever done. I never thought I'd be a pruner for my entire life, but that's the way things transpired. All right, I got the big stuff. Now the painstaking. I, I like to get most of the dead wood. I try not to go crazy and get every little twig, but it's fun. It's fun to get it, get as do as best you can. I don't know if that's rude to drink coffee, but it's coffee drinking time. And I'm hanging out with you and you're hanging out with me. So that's what I do. When you use these anvil, no, these aren't anvil, bypass pruners, the blade should be against the stem, not outward. By placing it against the stem, you don't leave a stub. If you use the wrong side of the blade, you're going to leave a stub. And stub, stubs create avenues for infection to enter your plant. So, like I said, I rarely cut live off of this because, gosh, it gets so much dieback. Each winter, it needs all the live it can get. 
because that's what creates food for the plant to survive. The live tissues. is one thing, don't stay too long in one spot. Go around and around and around, up and down. For me, it's just rewarding to step back and look at a Properly pruned. This is called, another word for removing dead wood is cleaning. I'm cleaning this shrub, this rose. You have to look out way out to the very ends of each branch to see. See, that's just a little bigger than my pinky. That was hard to cut. Oh, there were a couple of buds, but you know, 85% gone. No, no major loss. Yeah, hardly any cambium here. Just a little bit of green. So that's as good as gone. No worries. Try not to cut live buds. You can't go as fast when you're looking carefully. But oh well, not everything can be done fast, right? Oh, some of these may just as well be dead. There's so much dead in it. But it's really the only care I give it all summer. The uh, This has simple flowers. They aren't compound leaf petals. Just a simple open pinkish red pink, pink flower. <laughs> the flowers last all of a day. It'll flower for a period of one or two weeks, maybe. Each flower lasts one day. Um, supposedly, the best attribute of this plant is the red leaves. They're wonderful. It's a right next to it, I have a red leaf barberry. But the red leaves are nice. It's unusual, they're beautiful. Beautiful for a time, but guess who else likes the red leaves? Japanese beetles. So every year it becomes almost totally defoliated by Japanese beetles. I used to spray the beetles, but you can spray and spray and they'll always come back. The sprays are toxic. So, you know, it's a species rose, right? It's survived in the wild for millennium. Who say in some guy with a chemical that's been around for 50 years is what it needs to survive. <laughs> so I stopped spraying it. I don't spray much of anything anymore. Um, whoop, there's a stem. Yes, spent. So anyway.